All right, we're back. And um, how long have we been here now? Do, do, do. Right at 40 minutes. Um, uh, Joe, what's your body temperature? Um, 100.4 at the moment. What was Hal's? My high was uh, 99.1. All right, what's mine? Can you aim it at my head? Yeah. Um, 102, my friend. 102. I don't <laughs> like heat. 101.8. That's that's close to 102. You got more. You guys got more technically sun. Coming oh, I got the you. sun hitting me right yeah. in the crotch. Yeah. Um, that was no a plan. <laughs> I, I thought I had aimed it so we weren't going to be there. Um, golly gee, I forgot what we were talking about. We we discussed the community. You retired from the Festus Police Department. Dude. You're gonna retire. Yes. As a paramedic. How does, okay, let's go back to the Festus Police Department. Can you leave Festus and go to another police department and keep your retirement? As long as they're a um, contributor to, to Loggers, which is a state retirement okay. system. So I started at Jefferson County Sheriff's Department under Glenn Boyer. Oh, okay. In 94. Okay. Went over to Festus in 95 and then on from there. Okay. All right. But, but the pension's important. Well, yeah. I, I don't get it a pension. I don't, I don't have it's a very pension. Important. I don't have a pension. Uh, but my wife saved all of our money and wouldn't let me spend any. That's the only reason we got money now <laughs> is because of her. How about uh, paramedic stuff? Can you go from one to the other to the other? Or yeah, you... we're kind of in the same. We have the same loggers. Oh, you're loggers? Do you guys had loggers at Festus, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, you, can, you can do that. But you can also come back in, I mean, if you want to do a little part-time work. You know, oh yeah, like that. Just going back full time, and there's a limit. Like we have a limit of I think it's 1,100 hours in a year that you can work. Otherwise, right. you're classified as full time. In which case, you have to go back into loggers. Okay. Well, that's about half, right? So yeah, full time's what 2,080. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Don't, don't don't know. Don't live in that world. I I, I, I would have worked till I was a hundred. I, I loved what I did. I loved everybody. And then things changed and right. and uh, all the other Hallmark stores and all supply stores and JC Penney stores all went out of business. So I wasn't alone. So, but I did feel kind of stupid, especially as my wife and I traveled and we were there with all the retired police officers, school teachers, everybody that got a pension and got to retire at 55. Um, you know, I, I th there was a lot of jealousy. Mm -hmm. Um, but then when I kind of did the math, I ended up basically the same as everybody else. But how you can't divide by two. Can't divide by two. <laughs> That's funny. Is that new math? <laughs> well, well, I, I've had the same. I've been with the same girl since uh, my senior year in high school. Yeah. So November 1980, uh, we have been together. Uh, uh, almost nonstop. Now, she did work at Commerce Bank for a while. While... I, I worked, but then I guess it was 27 years ago, she came to work at Metro Off Supply. So her desk and my desk were always side by side, which was always funny because people would come in the store, hey, your husband, and you know, like, yeah, they're just making up stories. Because <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, no, I, 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 I was, well, some of it was true, but when she knew I was out, I was out. And when I got out, I traditionally didn't come home to three or four in the morning. So I, I spent a, a lot of time out. And even on the motorcycle rides, after yeah. we would stop at Fast Eddie's or whatever, everybody would scatter. And then there's a few guys like, I don't have to be home to 10 or 11 at night. And if you've never been hit in the forehead with a grasshopper yes. oh. at 75 miles an hour, <laughs> 2 o'clock in the morning, you just haven't lived life. <laughs> oh, little hard shell bugs. Oh, my gosh. The rocks, the gravel. The it's, of birds. Yeah. All right, Hal, I'm going to let you hold this for a while. I'm getting the shakes. Oh, yeah? My heart rate's at 127, according to my Apple Watch. And uh, I'm a dude, so I have no idea what that means. Other than I guess it's higher 60, than... 68 is normal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for just sitting here. So, yeah, so, so literally, sitting in the heat. It was, it was 128 sitting here trying to breathe. Yeah. And talk. Yeah. So you guys carry on the talking part. The other thermometer back here, Chris, is at 103. Okay. But this 10, uh, you don't want to hold it very 
Mom. Yeah. It's warm, is it? My phone go dead, or is that his? No, that's me. Okay. All right. So well, this I'm is getting surface temp of 106.5. 106. So. 106. All right. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. I got I got two videos. My phone keeps getting hot. I got ice packs down here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off, and we're gonna finish things up in probably 10, 15 minutes, 15 minutes max, but you know, I, we've gone way farther than I thought we would. Uh, my wife laughed at us and made fun of us, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cool my phone. Hang so on. So I have the Nalgene water bottle, Yeah, right, 32 right. ounces, minimum of three of those a day and have for Your years, credit back to my wife, All right. who's, who's a water drinker. All right. And it's, it's, bled over onto me and for years it's been three or four of those 32 okay. ounce yeah. now jeans a day mm -hmm. okay real quick what was what was uh bill's temperature 1023 what was uh hal's temperature 1026 1026 mine yours yours is i think we we're both the same 1031 yeah 1033 you're gonna be boiling 1031. 1031. Oh. Okay, so we're 55 minutes in. Yeah. And That's it's miserable. Oh, man. My hands are shriveled up like prunes. Yeah. It's hot. Like, like I've been in a swimming pool. So I'm going to push on the brake. I'm going to start the engine. And um, I got the cool seats in the front seat. In fact, I don't have air conditioning. We can switch Thank you, on thank you Ruther Ford. It's pretty on. And then we're on max. So... We, we didn't last an hour. We came 55 minutes to 60 yeah. minutes, and my temperature was 103. Point one. Um, yours was basically 106. Yeah. I, I'm, my Steph Curry shirt uh, is completely sopping wet. But we had a wonderful conversation. Uh, I love all of you guys. I don't get to see people like I do uh, are used to but a couple of you guys are going to be closer to retiring and hopefully we'll run into each other some more and um, we'll find something else maybe uh, skydiving or something the next time what do you think Hal? Uh, I've done it with a little I'll, bit I'll check my count check your count yeah. out I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not jumping out of an airplane <laughs> I don't bounce like I used to I, 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 I can do lots of stuff but that's not it thank you very much to Joe Ackham Platinum Ambulance Ruth or Ford for allowing us to uh get this beautiful Ford Expedition that does everything for you uh, for a couple of hours. The suicide prevention stuff, man, if you're a kid, and I try to make all these videos for kids, uh, if you got a problem, man, uh, you got to talk to somebody. You don't want to do some long-term solution for uh, a problem that in 10 years, you're not even going to remember it even existed. And, um, I, I, and the same thing with doing the drugs, man. Stay away from the drugs. You don't need it. Uh, exercise is the key to depression and everything Absolutely. else. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, you know, get bigger, better, stronger. Uh, again, Joachim and Platt and Ambulance, Joe Whaley. We got Hal Neisler from a bunch of different places, mainly KJFF Radio. Bill Stewart from Festus Police Department and... The Fighting Chance Foundation. So check us out online, Facebook, or... Or on our website. And if you don't know, uh, Jewel Kelly and his wife, they're absolutely wonderful people. Jewel ran for United States Senate. We're still talking because the air conditioner is on and we're feeling much yeah. better <laughs> already. And please remember your children, your parents, your, your, so. your dogs, yourself, all this stuff in these cars. And uh, I never would have thought about bringing the thermometer, uh, but 103, I would have never bet that I had 103 degree uh, core temperature, and I'm sure we're all going to have massive headaches here in about another <laughs> two hours. So, so thank you. Bye.